Hello, today I'll show you how to make photo mosaics in PowerPoint. The steps are fairly simple. Find your base in your tile pictures, layer the pictures to make the mosaic, and finally enhance the mosaic to make the final product. Okay, let's jump to the first step and start with the base image. This is the one you'll fill in with the smaller tile pictures to get the effect. Okay, so I'll paste this picture in. I chose this one because of its bright and contrasting colors, which will give us a nice mosaic effect. I just copied this from the Microsoft site, but for this technique to work, we'll actually need to make sure it's saved on our computer. So I'll just paste it into Paintbrush and save it there. Of course, if the picture you want to use is already on your computer, you can skip this step. All right, so we have our base image and are ready to find the tile pictures, which is a little bit more complicated. Okay, let's just find some pictures that look good and paste them onto the slide. I just chose some generic, mostly nature pictures, but you can use your friends, family, employees, company products, basically anything that you want to make into one collection. Okay, let's arrange these into tiles. Now you don't have to make these all the same size or make them symmetrical or anything like that. Just arrange them in a way that looks good to you. Okay, so now we're done and we'll save it as a picture file like before. Paste into Paintbrush or a different program. And let's clean up these edges so we have a nice clean rectangle. And save it onto your computer. Great, now we're ready to layer our pictures, which is where the main part of this trick comes in. Start by making a rectangle, let's make it black, and we're actually going to fill the rectangle with our base image. Now it might seem kind of weird to fill a shape with a picture, because it looks just like you copied the picture onto the slide. But if you do it this way, you can control the transparency of the picture, which is the key to this technique. Let's make it about 30% transparency for now, and you can see what that does. Okay, let's go to a different slide and do the same thing with our tile picture. Make a rectangle and fill it in with the image. Now here's the cool part about this. If you hit tile picture as texture, the pictures will multiply if you reduce the size. I'll make mine 5% of the original size to make them nice and small, but you can do whatever makes sense for you. It all depends on the pictures that you're starting with and the look that you're going for. And now you see that if I zoom in, you can still perfectly see all of the pictures. And let's reduce the transparency here as well to 30%. Now we're going to go back to our base image on the other slide and paste it on top of the tiles. And you can see the mosaic effect in there already a little bit. Now let's increase the transparency of the base image so that you can see the tiles better. Just play around until you like it. And let me move it over here so you can see. I'll make it say 60%. Excellent. So now we're done with this step. It's a little bit faded out, but the good thing is that if you zoom in, the pictures are still perfectly visible. If you like the way it looks now, you can stop here, but I actually like to enhance it a little bit. For this step, you're going to select both layers and then paste them in again as one combined picture. You do lose some quality with the tiles if you do this, but for this size, it really doesn't matter. Now that we have the picture as one, we can play around with the formatting. First, I like to go and sharpen it, and you see what that does. Next, I like to increase the contrast to about 40%. You can see what that does. And let's also change the colors to make it a little bit more pink. And now you can see that the picture is brighter and the tiles are more visible in comparison to our earlier version. I do want to make the colors a little brighter, however, so what I'll do is paste a copy of our transparent base image on top here and change the transparency level until I like the way the colors look. And here's our finished product. 
And again, you can experiment with the transparency, the sharpness, the contrast, the colors, and other variables to make it look the way you want. This was just one example that will hopefully give you some new ideas for your projects. Thanks so much for watching and see you for my next video.